You know, we were just talking about how commercial real estate prices are getting so high, um, higher than, than anywhere else in the world. But on the residential side, they're also getting really high. I know something that you've studied a lot, right? And you know a lot about this. You know, vacancy rates are now at some record, what, nine year, uh, nine year highs? Because I think people are getting pushed out of the city because it's, it's not affordable anymore, right? Yeah, well, what's happening now is that you're seeing also the cost of rents are have escalated so much that there's no discount to ownership anymore. There was at one point a discount to ownership. Also, there was a lack of confidence in the for sale market. And so people ran to rentals as a safe haven. And also many people couldn't qualify um, as a result of you know what happened in our financial crisis. So now we've got people who are buying. Also, what we're not seeing right now is because it was such a limited inventory on the for sale side um, for condos and yeah, co-ops, yeah. mainly condos in New York City, for example, is there's a lot of pre-construction sales. And those sales have not gone to record yet. So while velocity appears down, it is more active of a market than what we're seeing right now because there are these transactions that are happening in terms of pre-sales that aren't going to closing yet. And so I think, I think we're going to see um, a slowdown, and we are seeing somewhat of a slowdown from the tremendous velocity on the for sale side, um, but the rentals are going to pull back a bit. And in fact, the rentals are at a, a, at a point where we were before in the last market cycle when yep. we were near peaking. Um, we were a couple years off the peak, right, so, so that's probably about where we are right now. So they'll start, start switching to owning. Uh, Don commented on the residential side. I'll talk about the commercial, particularly office. Um, yeah, and not just here in New York, but uh, yeah, around yes. the country, too. Yeah. Around the con uh, good, I'll go even further around <laughs> the country. Talk no New York, Nashville, Portland, Seattle, Atlanta, uh, Chicago, et cetera, et cetera. You talk the 18 and 24 hour cities in America, it's actually right now utopia. And what do I mean by that? You're still not peaking in terms of where the rents are as compared to where the prior peaks were, but tremendous demand and growth, particularly driven by our entrepreneurial society and technology. But this industry. is commercial you're talking commercial about. Commercial okay. office. As a result right. of the voracious appetite of technology companies to grow, which is as a result of all the capital coming out of the venture capital community to back the next Uber or hoping to back the next Facebook concept. But is or, that sustainable, Joe? Um, you know who's going to decide that? It really is not going to be us. As crazy as it sounds, it's going to be decided by the financial markets. As long as people are out there seeing Gaga Google over the public valuations of a Google or a Facebook or the private valuations of a company like Uber, Uber yeah. and saying that, hey, I want to own the next Uber, and as long as that capital is flowing to all those young kids and minds out there, I think it will continue. Plus, with those funny valuations, as I often say, a Facebook or a Google has something called Confederate money. And if you know the term from World War II, it was money that was almost considered maybe worthless. Yeah. So people would spend it in, in, in boatloads. They've got that capital in terms of their stock prices. So it's very creative for them to start new companies, grow companies, buy companies. And that's creating, um, converging with the fact that we happen to be right now or have been the last seven years the most entrepreneurial society that yeah. we've seen in America in so long. And that's creating new business, new excitement, and new demand for office space. Not just just in New York, but all those 18 and 24 but, hours. Well, okay.